Hey guys. Today I'm going to be doing a headscarf tutorial. During the Second World War, you couldn't just walk into any shop and buy however much of whatever you wanted or needed. There were many everyday items that were in short supply because of the war, so the government had to ration things like gas, tires, sugar, meat, silk, shoes, nylons, all those things that would limit the amount each member of your family could get. Fabrics were also rationed during the war, and while the US had fewer cloth rations than Europe had, it was still restricted specifically when it came to fabrics that the armed forces needed, such as wool that they used for uniforms, nylon that they would use for parachutes, um, airplanes, netting, tents, and rubber and leather for shoes and bags, etc. As a result, the people adapted, and snoots became popular, which were like hairnets, as well as headscarves and turbans and very small hats. And so today we're gonna watch some of their tutorial videos and learn how to duty up our scarves um, to help the war effort. If you want a new hat, now that hats are rationed, there are ways and means. Scarves are the means, and Pathé Pictorial, in conjunction with Anne Edwards, fashion editress of Woman, shows you some of the ways. Having tied the knot on top of the head, you can see how easy it is to tuck in the sides. All you need for this model is one simple, straight scarf. By way of decoration, what's wrong with a bunch of flowers pulled through the knot? So, hers is more kind of long, like a neck scarf, so let's try this one. Underneath. She just... It in, I guess. Clearly, I have too much makeup on for the war effort. I actually don't hate it. I kind of like it. So when you tuck it in, try to even it out, like push it down too. That's much better. Oh, she did it. Ooh, oh, oh. So let's try this again. Oh, oh. oh. And then she went and spun it around. I would like this one for the winter because it's keeping my ears nice and warm. Cool. Now with two scarves, you can be a little more ambitious. You start with a knot on top, as before, and roll and tuck in the ends. There's nothing easier in the whole wide world, except spending money. We'll see about that. The result's a natty little pussycat. Let's give it a whirl. Two scarves, I'm gonna see if these work for this. Behind the head. Roll and tuck in the ends. There's nothing easier in the whole wide world except spending money. Well, hmm, I don't hate it, but I do not see myself wearing this one. Yeah. With a little practice, Miss Edward says, there's no end to the variety of turbans you can make with one or two simple little scarves. You can stab the knot with a couple of feathers, or twist one of the scarves into a sort of beehive and tip it over at a tricky angle. I'm going to show you how I usually do my hair. Like this. I'm going to take this chunk in the front and brush it out. I'm going to put it right in the center of my forehead. Ooh, those ended up better than they usually do. Twist this part of my hair. And then push it forward a little. So you take your scarf and make it into like a triangle. Fold it in half, but like long ways so that you're holding the corners. Tip of it over your head, over the middle. Roll, I guess, is a good judge. Take the back. Because of these, you're gonna bring it around and tuck in. Now I always like to take this, fling it over, and tuck it in. There's my 
tutorial. I like this one. It's comfy and it's easy. Another way we could do this, and it's with um, the lawn scarf. I'm going to start by putting it where I want the front. Bobby pins. And this is just to anchor it. You're not going to see them in the end. Cross it over, so you're going to cross them. And then you're going to want the sides to lay a little flat. Bring them back up. Tie it at the front. Roll this up and tuck it almost to create kind of like a bow. It's really easy and simple. You can always twist them, take it down one side. I really like these, these are easy too. This has been my hair scarf tutorial. And thanks for watching. Let me know down below. Let me let me know down below. Down below.